beta elimination reaction can occur by different types of mechanisms and they are of E1, E2 and E1 CV. E2 reaction. E2 reaction means elimination by molecular. One of the example is provided by ethyl bromide, ethoxidine and we get ethene along with ethanol and bromide ion. And rate law tells us that both ethyl bromide and ethoxide ions are involved in the formation of transition state of the rate determining step. So in this reaction, ethoxide ion attack on beta hydrogen, electron of CH bond move towards CC bond and this CBr bond break. This is slow step in which C2H5O it become partial negative say this is the transition state C2H5O become partial negative, it start combining with hydrogen, this, this bond formation takes place, simultaneously CH bond breaking takes place, CC bond formation takes place and CBR bond breaking. Formation of OH, breaking of CH, again formation of CC and breaking of CBR. We get C2H5OH plus CH2 double bond CH2 plus BR negative. So in this reaction, a rate of reaction depends on both ethyl bromide as well as ethoxide ion because ethoxide ion is involved in the rate determining step removal of hydrogen by as a proton by ethoxide ion as well as removal of bromine takes place in the same step that is a rate determining step and E2 reaction is a concerted one step reaction in which removal of proton and bromide ion takes place in the same step and it follows second order kinetics. If we plot a potential energy diagram, diagram comes to be like this. These are Ethyl bromide and ethoxide ion. This is transition state, and these are ethene along with ethanol and bromide ion. The question is, how do we came to know that CH bond breaking takes place in the rate determining step? To know the mechanism we use kinetic isotope effect in that case what we do and if we replace hydrogen by deuterium so you know CD bond is stronger than CH bond CD bond is stronger than CH bond. In both the cases, we get the products. In this case, C 
CD bond breaking takes place, CH bond breaking takes place. Or let us take an example, its rate constant is KH and its rate constant is KD. Along with that, we you know we get C2H5OH Br negative, C2H5OD plus Br negative. So KH value of KH comes out to be greater than KD. So it proves that rate of reaction depends on the breaking of CH bond 